What's up everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace Honey. And today we're gonna get into another new makeup releases. So um I found a few new things I wanted to talk about. It's a couple of things I found that I want to talk about, but I don't want us getting in trouble because they over here leaking kind of fragrances and stuff, so I can't talk about that, but you know, I'm excited for the leak I saw. Anyway, let's get into what I can show you. So, y'all know I've been partnering with Doshi Thing on um, content for the last few months. And they have something new coming out. So, they sneak peeking this new fragrance. And they're saying, are you ready for our steamiest drop yet? So, this drops on April the 4th. You all should see this video around that time. And then we'll know what it actually is. So, I'll probably try to link down below what it actually is. And wait to see what's going on. So, I'm just like, okay. You know, she's looking, you know. The bottle's looking interesting. And everybody's like, well, what are you duping this time? Believe it or not, y'all, Dossier does have their own original fragrances that they come up with on their own now. I know they built themselves to be kind of like this dupe brand, if you will. You can also pick them up at Walmart if you all were not aware. But, yeah, they have their own original fragrances. And I have tried a couple with you all. One was like a genderless collection. I personally like the Speak Easy collection when I do try things from the brand. So, they um, sent me one last month if you all watched my um good old makeup haul you saw what i'm talking about it's a really nice fragrance i don't have it here with me or if i do it's over in the corner on my little tray that i have set up to look really pretty and aesthetic for when i have to take pictures but um uh, i'm excited to see what they're launching and see if it's like you know one that everybody's been requesting because i feel like a lot of times you know when you're a dupe brand sometimes people request you to do certain things so i'm feeling like it's something people requested and it took them a while to develop but they finally got it and now they're just going to launch it and the people can be excited so we'll have to wait and see what it is girl but i'm definitely interested i'm over here like mm -hmm, tell me more tell me more because y'all know i'm kind of into fragrances and i'm about that life but you know we talk about makeup and fragrances here and do a little fashion and skincare for now and again um Next, I actually have a whole fragrance video set up. It's in the membership is down below. I talked about the Brown Girl Jane. It's a, a black owned fragrance brand and they launched something new recently. It's called Carnival. I have, I think I put that in last week's video though. Don't quote me, but let's talk about this ABH Beauty Balm Serum Boosting Skin Tint. So it's already available at Ulta. I don't know about Sephora. I know I saw it at Ulta though, but it's um you so your undercover makeup with eight skin loving ingredients for a natural finish and serious care solid serum boosting skin tint with eight skin care ingredients sheer to light coverage for natural looking healthy glow quick and easy application at home or on the go vegan and cruelty free so like i said this is available at ulta i don't know if it's available at sephora i want the parts of it it just looks like a weird deodorant stick i'm supposed to rub on my face and y'all heard what they said sheer to light who light wear are you looking at my face right now? It's like, where? I mix the Danessa Myrick like, skin tint in with Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, light wear. Who's, who's trying to be light? I'm not trying to be light. So, this, this just isn't my whole aesthetic or vibe at all. Plus, like I said, it just looks like a deodorant stick to me that you expect me to roll on my face. And I just, I, I have to respectfully decline. I, no, no, ma'am. Next, I'm excited about this. So, this is another fragrance. This is from Sniff and Alex. Ellie, I said Ellie, Alex Ellie, is called Heal the Way, and this comfortable soft blend of pistachio cream, vanilla, davia, and Palo Santo will soothe your soul. So it launched on the 28th, so it had already launched as well. But honey, y'all heard it said vanilla and pistachio cream. Say less. Like I want to see how similar this is to the Kayali um, pistachio gelato, I want to know. So I will definitely be comparing them and seeing how they smell. I'm thinking about doing a wear test and putting one on one wrist and one on the other wrist and just see how long it smells throughout the day. So I might do that and give y'all a video on it. We have to wait and see. I'm interested though. I really am. But I did pick this up already. I do have a code with Sniff if you weren't aware. You can use code GRACE10 and you can get 10% off your purchase of anything you buy on the Sniff website. It is affiliated, so I do get a commission. Just want to keep that up front. Originally, I wasn't sure if I got a commission or not, but I found out it is commissioned. So, thank you if you use my code. But, yeah, so I, I was excited about this. As soon as they had vanilla and pistachio cream, they had my full and undivided attention. Thank you. 
So next trend mood has some more colorful shades from Miss Danessa Myricks. So they're supposed to be, um, let's see, there's Oasis, which is the blue one, Sundays, which is the purple, Matcha is the green, Lemonade is the yellow, Dreamsicle is the orange, Bunny is the light powdery pink, Carrot Cake is the darker orange, and then Vamp is, of course, the red, deep, burgundy vampy shade. So the um there's the four pink the there's four that are twenty dollars each that are supposed to be spring pastels and then there's a bonus four matte ones. So the last four I talked about lemonade, matcha, vamp, and carrot cake are matte shades and I guess bunny Sundays, Oasis, and Dreamsicle. I don't know if they're supposed to be like matte shades or not. They didn't specify or Trinwood didn't specify. So, but the last four matte shades are exclusively on her website. So, the four I just named are exclusive to Danessa Myers' website and the other ones you can get at Sephora. But none of these drop till April the 9th. So, you'll still be able to get them during the sale. The battery is flash and let me go and get another one and then we can talk about this um, NARS palette that they're giving the first look on. Is it just me, y'all? Do y'all think all NARS palettes look the same? To me, all NARS palettes look the same at this point. I don't understand where were we oh yes so this first look at the NARS light reflecting quad eyeshadow palette in the shade Osaka it's supposed to be available in April so y'all seen it right here that's what I'm saying like I feel like all their stuff just like looks the same for the most part I know the Laguna one was on sale on I think it's Space NK I don't know if it's still on sale now but they were having 20% off sale and it was on sale for anyone who was interested but yeah, I don't know. Y'all know I'm not interested in this. Um, I've only, I've only tried, I think, two NARS. Sorry, three NARS eyeshadow palettes. I got the little quad for orgasm. It was nice. And then, um, was the one that was really popular that came out during the holidays that people wanted? I ended up getting that, and that was nice. And then that go that reloaded one that everybody loved. I didn't like that one. I didn't like the formula of it. I didn't know why everybody was so excited about it, but I was like, okay, um, I'm glad y'all enjoy it, but I personally wasn't impressed, so. You need to say I'm picking it up just because it's not my style. It's way too boring. Next, we have a new drop of lip and eye products from Miss Ariana Grande from Rim Beauty. She has the Essential Drip Glossy Balm. It's a nourishing lip treatment that doubles as a high shine tinted gloss made with hyaluronic acid and pomegranate and passion fruit antioxidants to hydrate and restore lips. Then you got the Energizing Under Eye Balm. If you all remember, I liked her Under Eye Balm. Okay, it wasn't anything exceptional though, but now she has this Energizing one. I think the original one was supposed to be cooling or soothing. And this one is a botanical powered cooling balm, clinically proven to hydrate and visibly brighten under eyes, leave skin looking smoother and more energized. And these are supposed to be available April the 2nd on her website. It doesn't say if they're coming also on the 2nd or not. Now this next thing I was confused about. I was like, I don't see what the purpose of this was, but I was just like, okay. So Elf decided they need to partner with Liquid Death the Water People and come up with this corpse paint vault. So um this is already sold out though, just FYI, so clearly they knew their fan base or whatever. I just thought it was weird. It says the keep safe coffin box contains five makeup must-haves and sleep black packaging. It's for $34. It was the death set, which is matte, magic mist and set. The Kiss of Death, which is an old face satin lipstick and all night, which I swore they had originally had a black lipstick when they originally came out with these. So it seems like some of this stuff is just revamped stuff that they just put in a box. The Eye Dyes No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in Wispy Cloud. Yes, yeah, see, I thought that was already a product too. The Death Line is the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. Again, that's a new, that's a product that they already have. There's a brush with death. There's a putty applicator. Okay. And the closed coffin, which is reusable keepsake. Sorry, reusable coffin keepsake box. It's sold out, but I don't know if they're going to restock it or not. But I was just like, I don't understand the purpose of this. Because it looks like they just rebranded stuff that they already had. And then put um, liquid death alongside of it because all those products i swore already existed like the black lipstick i'm sure already existed i know the putty applicator brush thing already existed we all know the um putty primer existed even though that wasn't in here but the eyeliner we already knew existed so it's like they just 
added liquid death to all these things that already existed and made them either the color black or white and some of these colors already existed too so it's like did you just take the original ones you had and just add liquid death on them or what i don't know but i'm just like i wasn't interested in this and i just thought it was like a weird release but i'm like you know i'm mind my business or whatever but yeah i wouldn't go buy that just no some collabs i'm just like i just can't get behind and endorse this so fenty finally decided to put out this demi glow light diffusing highlighter i actually got both mine on sale because ulta's having a their um they gave a prestige coupon until april 7th so all the people who are not um rouge or vib you i mean sorry who aren't vib or just a beauty insider you have a chance to get 20 percent off as opposed to having to get 15 or 10. so i'm like perfect works for me um i'm going to pick up some stuff early instead of having to wait till the sale starts at sephora so i'm going to pick another one of these up i got the rose gold shade that she had but i want to get the shade called i think it's called rich honey so that's the one that's in the picture right here you're looking at so i'm going to pick that one up as well and i'm excited to see how this is going to work out i will definitely be comparing to the um the ones from hourglass of course because it's giving very much hourglass vibes just looking at it i'm hoping to give more shine than hourglass does because i feel like that's hourglass's thing it doesn't give that much shine and for what i've seen in people's videos it is giving a decent amount of shine so i'm excited about that and i will be comparing them to the hourglass so we can see if it's like worth it or whatever now however just keep in mind these are limited editions so if you find one that you actually like and feel like you'll use it a lot you're gonna need to get a backup of it because it's supposed to be a limited edition product supposedly and y'all know when she does limited edition she actually makes it limited edition like the um giant highlighter she had came up with a while ago the pecan one or whatever and the chocolate swirl those were actually limited edition you have not seen them come back you have not seen them any all so when you're around i tell you it's limited edition unless it's like a super popular shade and she's trying to push it out when it comes to gloss bomb she ain't playing with you it's limited edition grab it while you can and stop playing anyway the next thing i have to talk about i was super excited about this it is the um Giorgio Armani or Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Sun Lit Cream Bronzing Powder. Honey, when I saw I said, what do I buy? It? I was online looking immediately. I didn't realize it said available in Europe now. So it's like it's not even in America yet. But I was sure over here searching high and low like I was a Sean Mitch looking for this bronzer. Because honey, I feel like this will go perfectly with the YSL one because it's a cream. It's supposed to be a creamy bronzing powder so i'm wondering how much powdery it actually is compared to being more like a cream because i wanted to put the ysl one on top of it and see how they were gonna work but they only have four shades as you see here and i'm like the deepest one she ain't looking that deep so i still might have to combine it with something else i don't know we'll see i kind of want to compare this to the charlotte's tilbury one though because it's giving me the vibes that in this giant container that it's in and i'm like hmm or maybe compare it to the um mark jacobs one since he's supposed to be coming back in 2025 and see like is it a good alternative for here since everybody was so in love with it i personally never loved the mark jacobs one that much but you know it's a teacher's own i'm gonna mind my business live my best life over here in this corner you know and not be concerned but this is an ultra creamy bronzing powder that creates an instant mediterranean glow that will make you look like you just you're just back from an italian coast all year long it's smooth powder technology is designed with skin gliding oils for an in comparable silky feel blend seamlessly into the skin to deliver ultra thin and even coverage in four shimmery shades oh so this is shimmery bronze okay it said silk sunlit i didn't realize it was supposed to be shimmery so i wonder if this this would be a good dupe from that one for l'oreal or the l'oreal one would be a good dupe for this one because if you all remember l'oreal had like that shimmery bronzer a while back and i still have mine so i want to compare it to that now that i know that it's shimmery because at the top when you read it you notice that i'm saying anything about the shimmer you found out at the end that it's shimmery so since it's shimmery now i'm gonna have to compare it to the l'oreal one and see like is it dupe because the l'oreal one if you all remember it's like huge matter of fact i think it's in this drawer let's see but yeah so this is it right here and it's got a nice little shimmery moment to it now it doesn't look that deep but it actually goes pretty deep in the pan i feel like the one from um that we look at it over here from Giorgio Armani is looking pretty deep compared to this one. However, this one gonna be more affordable for you, so I'm interested to see how well they're going to um or how similar they're going to wear and look throughout the day. So I will definitely be doing that video once it arrives in America, honey, because we need the tea. 
but I was definitely excited because I wouldn't look for it as soon as they said it. So now we got a new beauty brand coming called Ortega, created by the makeup artist El Alita Ortega. I hope I'm saying that right. So her first launch is a blue nectar lip oil for $21. It's called Nectar Hydration. Then there's a soft contour lip liner for $16 in 10 shades. Then she has an agave glow color stick, which is in eight shades for $22. And then there's a liquid icon hyper gloss at $18 and it's a high shine finish. So you see in the pictures here, I'm not really impressed with anything. I'm seeing like these two lip products, the lip contour, and then like this random gloss. I'm not necessarily excited about on these on these soapy cream eyeshadow sticks. They call them glow color sticks. I don't know, but I'm not really excited or intrigued about any of the stuff that I'm looking at. So I don't plan on trying this brand, but. I am interested to see what beauty gurus are going to try because I've never actually heard of this makeup artist either. So I'm like, now I kind of want to go investigate and see who this makeup artist is and see like what kind of makeup they've done. Because like just based upon the collection that they're trying to sell me, I'm kind of just like, no thank you. But they might have like good artistry ideas that I can look at and be inspired by. So I'm going to go do some investigation on that. But as of right now, I'm not buying any of that stuff. At best, I buy a lip liner and I don't feel like, you know, it's, it's worth it personally it's not to be me. Next, NARS has released their newly reformulated powder blushes in 20 shades. So, they got a lot of different shades out here, as you see right here. They still have Taj Mahal and a million different um, orgasm shades or whatever. I wonder if they still have Deep Throat. I don't know, but I'm wondering how the reformulation is going to feel to people. I was never really a NARS blush person, so I'm the wrong person to talk to about this. But, you know, um, maybe somebody else will be excited about it and interested in getting some more i honestly don't know but you know i'm kind of interested in this i don't know but it says new more blushes luminous silk cheek tints from armani beauty so he got a couple of things coming out mr mr armani over here and it says melts into the skin with its watercolor technology inspired by armani lipsticks it easily dazzles with intense color and with a light texture achieve a natural fresh blush that blends in your skin ultra thin formula and glides onto the skin without disturbing your makeup allowing you to build up for a subtle glow to a more intense glow okay so i'm kind of interested i don't know how i feel it depends on when these come out because that doesn't say when they come out it just says they were revealed so i'm interested to see if they're gonna come out during the sephora sale where i can grab one and try it out because i'm somewhat interested but at the same time I, I don't know that i'm necessarily going to get it at regular price so if it pop out during the sale and you see me with it you know what time it is but i'm not really into the cream blush thing i and if i do i'd like to do it the patrick ta way which is like i do the powder and then put his cream on top that's an easier way for me personally instead of having to actually blend out the cream and then put powder on top so i don't necessarily see myself rushing to get this but i mean when the cream i'm well, sorry when the shimmery bronzer comes out i'm definitely i'll probably grab one then if i have to buy it from their website or like Nordstrom's or something but it's not one i'm just gonna rush out and get y'all these batteries keep flashing so i have to be right back again girl child okay y'all so on to this sephora collection so i'm excited about this the sephora collection matte bronzer powder the component and packaging kind of reminds me of the dior bronzer anyway this is a bronzing powder that has a hybrid creamy silky texture that melts into the skin for a natural sun kissed result and they have one two three four so they have five shades i was looking at shade four or shade five i'm like i don't know because the model i saw wearing shade four was lighter than i was so i'm kind of just like hmm is that one really gonna work so i have five in my cart i'm hoping they'll come to sephora stores by the time sale gets here and i can swatch four or five and just make my decision in store and buy it there because i don't want to have to buy it and have to come back and bring it back or return it back to their um warehouse and do all that just because i don't you know i don't want to do all that so uh i am interested though and then since it's coming out during the sale i know we can get a discount uh, it doesn't say how much it is i'm pretty sure it said it was 18 dollars though let me go double check real quick because since it's available now i can go check and tell y'all um 
No, it's $16, so you'll get 30% off the $16 if you buy it during the sale like I'm going to. But I'm just hoping it's in store because number four seems like it'd be a nice one for me as well. But I need to, you know, like see it in person and actually swatch. Unless I've been wasting money and you have to shade this much too dark. It says the multitasking bronzer also helps to smooth and soften the appearance of skin for a flawless complexion all day long. This fine and weightless formula prevents a powdery effect or harsh lines while warming the complexion. The silk-like pressed powder blends effortlessly into skin for a flawless effect. It can be used for all over bronzing or targeted contour with buildable coverage. It is a formula that withstands heat and humidity. There is a mirror built into the case for quick touch-ups. And that's how they call, that's what they say about this. Now, Gucci, I feel like they're trying to steal my money right now because they literally came out with three lipstick formulas and new brown tones. It's like, they, they know how to get you, right? Because they got three different lipsticks and brown tones. So they got the liquid lipsticks and brown tones. They got the satin lipstick and brown tones. And then they got the matte lipsticks and brown tones. So I'm showing y'all right now. These are the satin ones that we're looking at. I like the colors I prefer their matte lipsticks though and then I just put a gloss on top of it because y'all know I love to have a glossy lip so with the satin ones I feel like they're creamy and they're way off quicker than the matte ones do in my personal opinion which is another reason why I like to use those so that way if I use the matte one and it starts wearing off I know I can put a gloss over it and it won't look you know as obvious not that they does that with the satin either I just feel like the satin wears way quicker than the matte in my personal opinion but tell me down below do y'all feel like um, mattes wear way quicker than satins do Anyway, here are the names of the shades of the matte ones. I kind of like Fanny Rose, but I'm like, I don't know, because Eliza Ginger looks nice, too. All the shades look nice. It's just a question of which one I would wear the most. And realistically, I feel like I would use Fanny Rose or Eliza Ginger the most, just because of the undertones in them. And then the liquid lipsticks. I've never tried one of their liquid lipsticks. I'm intrigued, though, by the Isabella Rosewood one. Just because y'all know I like a mauve moment. So, I can see myself possibly getting that one. My whole thing is, it doesn't say when these are coming, though. It just shows that, you know, um, this is what's coming. Because it doesn't say anywhere when these things are coming. So, I'm kind of just like, man. And then the last picture is the four satin ones. So, the four satin ones, I think they have two different shades than the two that were in the matte ones so the two bottom ones the eliza ginger and the um amber one i think those they had mattes up as well it's just the two top ones that they have exclusively to the satin finish but i must say i am impressed you know she's looking cute i could see myself picking some of these up during the sale too i'm hoping they pop out during the sale before it ends if not that's okay i can catch them another time later on because it's not like i use the gucci lipsticks i have that often now i only have i think two or three i ended up buying a set and one of them ended up breaking on me so i i had to well my mom just took it i was going to throw it away but she was like no give it to me so i was like okay so i have like i think three or four but i rarely reach for them i have certain lipsticks i just use regularly believe it or not i use the sephora collection lipsticks a lot Cause those are the ones I leave in my bathroom. I leave certain things in my bathroom to just use, and that way I don't have to try to figure out and guess what I'm going to use. But I need to rotate those things out because I've been using this before once nonstop, and I got a um, dresser full of lipsticks, and it's absurd. Considering I don't care about lip products. But next is this Elf Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. So it's already sold out, of course, because it's Elf, and they be selling out with the quickness. But this is a buy phase makeup setting spray with fine mist that grips makeup for long wear long lasting wear with a hydrating dewy finish so basically they just copied off the hydro grip setting spray just like they did the hydro grip primer that's all this is giving me personally with a makeup gripping water base and a moisturizing oil base shake to activate infused with five percent aloe plus hyaluronic acid squalene and green tea seed oil non-sticky feel and non-greasy feel for ten dollars so i don't know how much is in here i'm hoping it's like a full ounce or something or maybe it's like the travel size version of the um one from milk because i know milk has a travel size and then they have the full size i think i've only owned the travel size don't quote me but i don't i'll get my hands on this eventually i'm hoping it comes to um Alta, but from what I heard, it's supposed to be exclusive on their website and the TikTok shop. So maybe you can still find this at the TikTok shop before it sells out. I personally don't really use TikTok and have not ever bought anything from the TikTok web I mean shop. So 
I don't know if it's still there or not, but you know, you can go check it out. But I went on their website and it's already gone, honey. Like, I, I was like, let me go purchase this real quick. And they're like, uh-uh, no, you're not. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm not then. I'm just mad that a lot of these brands are just keeping stuff on their websites now and not necessarily letting them come to other, like, places. Because I'm like, you know, I want to be able to pick it up at this place because if it doesn't work or if I don't like it, like that blush I got from Elf, like I got to argue with y'all about the blush showing up broken and then if you send me another one, that one might show up broken too. And then it's like I still don't get the product I need because it's broken. And they still haven't come to, um, all to either with those blushes. So I'm like, I'm noticing that lots of brands are like just trying to stick to their own website. So I don't know if it's because they have to spend so much to up maintain their website it's why they're just staying on their website and not going to Ulta coming to Ulta or Sephora or whatever right away anymore but a lot of brands are doing that Charlotte Tilbury has been doing that too lately like that eyeliner I have the um multi-chrome one in pillow talk that has yet to show up on um Sephora or Ulta's website Fenty Beauty's like liquid eyeliner like um I have yet to see it at Sephora but I think that was supposed to be an Alta exclusive because it's at Alta and it's been at Alta for a while but I've never seen it before. So I'm noticing that certain brands are making different moves lately and I'm like, hmm, what's that all about? But anyway, on to the next thing. So we have this new Garden of Lilies blush palette from Plain and Makeup by Yolano. She actually came out with a cream bronzer as well and she has some setting powder. So we're going to talk about the um setting powders and the blush palette here the bronze has been out for a while i don't know why nobody posted about it because the same person has posted two other things from her so i'm wondering if that one just went underneath their radar and they didn't realize it ha because it was makeup on your radar no but um yeah she didn't mention it but i'm kind of shocked about it but the garden of lily blush palette is a stunning and ethereal collection of blush shades inspired by the delicate beauty of lilies in a g this palette captures the essence of blooming flowers and offers a range of shades that will instantly elevate any makeup look. And yeah, it literally just said Lily and a G. So I, I meant, I guess they meant to write garden and they didn't finish it or what. But yeah, um, this retails for $32. It is a nice set of colors. My whole thing is what am I supposed to do with a yellow blush? I remember this brand called Liking Makeup that I have an eyeshadow palette from that I really like. They had a random yellow blush and I was just like, oh, okay, but what am I supposed to do with the yellow blush? I'm assuming you're supposed to mix it in with other colors to help with like the tone or whatnot. But I don't know, just a yellow blush on its own, I don't know if I would necessarily be vibing with that. It'd have to be like for a certain like particular look I'm going for at a certain time. But obviously you're not wearing a yellow blush every day. That's why it would make sense for her to sell it individually, which is, I'm assuming, why she put it in this palette. Plus, it gives a unique twist to it. Now, I'm wondering if you can use these blushes as eyeshadows, too, because it might come in handy for that. Like, you don't have yellow eyeshadow in your collection because you usually do lots of neutral looks. You can look to this blush palette as an eyeshadow palette as well. So, it might be good for people like that who want to play with color, but it's like you don't want to buy a dedicated eyeshadow palette. You can use these blushes as eyeshadows, perhaps. I'm not sure, so don't quote me, but in my mind, I would try it. I, I would try it. Um, next, these are the setting powders I was talking about. The Set and Bake Loose Setting Powders. Now, I'm not sure how much these are. It doesn't say in the picture how much they are, so I can't tell you. It just says, locks in makeup for long-lasting wear without adding weight or texture. It absorbs oil and reduces shine all day. Creates a flawless matte finish with no flashback in photos. The shades work on all skin tones and create a soft focused effect to subtly blur fine lines and imperfections so it sounds good i'm not necessarily crazy about the color she chose if you see them over here though i'm kind of just like mm, i'm trying to figure out which color i would actually use maybe the dark but it's like i don't feel like this one underneath my eyes because i don't like the tone of that banana shade and then the, the dark shade i feel like would be more for my like actual skin tone so i don't know how i feel about this powder because i wanted to try it but then i was just like I don't really see a color that I f would feel comfortable with using with this powder. So I don't know about that because I was going to pick up this and I was going to pick up one of the cream bronzers to try out against the NARS one to see how they wear side by side because, you know, it's a black on brand. I live to, like, promote me a black on brand, but I was like, I just don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so that's all I had to talk about today, y'all. Um, like I said, I can't talk about the Kylie thing that I found because, you know, they be, um... I don't want them taking me down saying I showed off their stuff ahead of time. But the notes on the sound really interested and nice. Um, spoiler alert, it's like a box set. So you have to buy like 
all of whatever it is. It's not like you can be like, oh, I just like that scent, so I want that scent. Like, no, you gotta buy them all, girl. Just FYI, I'm going to buy them all. But, yeah. Those are all the things I had to talk about today. I'm going to go off and film my cute little Savora VIB recommendation slash wish list video now. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are dimes. If you're curious about this eye look, it'll be coming to a YouTube channel near you soon. It's a battle of one of the Bella Beauty Bar palettes, the D'Andre Nicole alongside another palette that I already had in my collection to see which ones I thought looked the most similar. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. I have my membership down below for anybody who's interested. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, be blessed, girl. Bye.